If you want to create this amazing chart which show you the percentage difference, also connect with dynamic slicer to summarize any of your KPI. And not only this, we have ARD slicer. I can easily select 2023. Now this is the current year. Previous year is 2022, and it will automatically summarize and visualize my data set. Now this technique you can use for any other kind of data set. For example, you want to visualize five store of data set on yearly basis. Now the data set is just a tabulated data set, but how we can create this amazing chart? I'm going to show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data set. The first thing I will click anywhere on this table, click on insert. Click on pivot table and we need to insert pivot table on a new worksheet. The next thing I simply need to move date on a rows field. In this case, it will automatically group the date. I will remove the year, quarters, and also I will remove the date field as well and only leave the months. Next, I will move year on a columns field. Next, I will move total income on a values field. Now, I will rename this pivot table and I'm going to type, let's say static, hit enter. Next, I will click on design. We need to opt the grand total for rows and column as well. Now, I will select this entire pivot table, hit control C, click here, control V. In this pivot table, we need to remove the months, total income, and simply move year on a rows field. Now I will click on this pivot table, click on pivot table, analyze, and we need to rename this pivot table, let's say dynamic. The next thing we need to insert two slicer. I will click any of the pivot table, click on insert slicer. We need to insert slicer based on category and also based on year and simply hit OK. Now you can see a blank slicer option. So we need to click slicer sitting, hide item with no data and simply hit OK. The next thing, if I click on year slicer, you can see my first pivot table is updating. We don't want this. I will clear this filter, click on the slicer, Report connection, we need to disconnect the static pivot table and only connect the dynamic which is a second pivot table and hit OK. Now if I click on year slicer, it will only filter the second pivot table. What if I click on category slicer, you can see only my first pivot table is updating while there is no category on my second pivot table. Now we need to create few helper columns for our main chart. Now our helper column are ready. We need to create formula for each and every column. I will click on month column and simply type equal. Select all of the month's name from pivot table. Hit enter. Next, I will click on current. Simply type xlookup function. Open parenthesis for the lookup value. I will select the first row of my second pivot table. Hit comma. For the lookup array, I want to look up the value in the header of my first pivot table, I will select all of the header, hit comma. And for the return array, I will select all of the table value from January to December from 2020 till the last year, hit comma. If not found, I want a null result, close parenthesis, hit enter. I'm going to copy this whole formula again. Double click on previous column, control V. But we need to update this formula a little bit. First, I need to apply the text function. Open parenthesis. We need to subtract 1 from H4. Simply type minus 1. Hit comma. For the text format, I will type quotation mark, H quotation mark, close parenthesis. Now, this is a very simple XLOOKUP function. Simply hit enter, and now we get a previous year monthly sale data now if i click on 2024 each and everything is totally dynamic the next thing we need to get the max value i'm going to type equal 
max function open parenthesis simply select the two rows hit enter double click to apply this formula on entire column for the different plus and different negative i'm going to apply an if condition simply type if open parenthesis if the current value is greater than the previous value hit comma in this case i want current minus previous Otherwise, I want a null result, close parenthesis, hit enter and simply double click to apply the formula on entire column. For the difference negative, I will type equal. If condition, if, if the current sale, if the current income is less than or equal to the previous income, hit comma. In this case, I want the previous minus current otherwise i want a null result close parenthesis hit enter and now simply double click to apply the formula on entire column next i'm going to select all of these five column we need to apply the comma style with zero decimal point for the data label plus and data label negative simply type equal click on difference positive sale divide by the current sale hit enter we get an error simply apply if error function open parenthesis hit comma value if error we want a null result close parenthesis hit enter and now if i just double click to apply the formula on entire column click on percentage format we need percentage with one decimal point for the data label negative again apply if error function open parenthesis difference negative sale divide by the current sale if we get an error i want a null result close parenthesis hit enter simply apply the percentage format with one decimal point double click to apply the formula on entire column i'm going to simply select the entire calculations now hit ctrl x this time insert a new worksheet click here ctrl v and this is how we move a table on a next worksheet. Now, if you click any of the cell, formula automatically auto adjusts to connect with sheet 4. Again, I will go to sheet 4. Simply select these two slicer. Hit Ctrl X. Click on sheet 5. Click on the bottom and simply hit Ctrl V. Now, I will do a little bit formatting before creating a chart. To create a chart, first we need to select the first three column. Click on insert. Simply click recommended chart. In this case, I will select the column chart and simply hit OK. I will increase the size and width of this chart a little bit more. In this case, I will delete the chart title for now. Right click any of the column, format data series. For the series overlap, I will type 20% for now and for the gap width, let's say 25% hit enter. Next, I will click on format and we need to select the previous one. For the shape fill, in this case, I will select the light orange color. Now we need to apply error bar on this chart. I will select the chart, click on plus button and simply apply error bar. I will click on plus button again. From the drop down, now you can see previous y error bar, current y error bar. First, I will select previous y error bar. Here, I will select plus. And for the error value, I will select custom specify value. In this case, I will select all of the different plus column and simply hit OK. Now, again, I will click on this drop down and we need to select current y error bar. Click plus here custom specify value in this case i will specify difference negative column and simply hit ok the only thing i forget we don't need a cape on the error bar so i will select no cape again i will select the previous error bar and we need to select no cape now i will click fill and lines we need to increase the width of the error bar a little bit more. Let's say 1.5. I will select the dotted line. For the begin arrow type, I will select this arrow format. For the color, I will select the red font color. Now I will select the current Y error bar. I will increase the width 
to let's say 1.5 select the dotted line in this case for the end arrow type i will select the arrow format for the font color we need to select the green font color now if i click outside my chart this is how my arrow are look like now to apply the data label first i need to click on my chart click chart design select data we need to add two more series click add button for the first series i will type let's say max one and for the series value i will remove everything here and simply select max column hit ok again i will click add for the series number two i will type let's say max two and for the series value i will select max column again simply hit ok and hit ok now i will click on format here you can see series max 1 max 2 first i will click max 1 now click series options i want this on secondary x-axis click on plus button now click data label more data label options and now click label option value from cell in this case i will specify data label plus column simply hit ok and check value and show leader line now for the font color i am going to choose the green font color hit ctrl b to make it bold as well next i will click again mix one series for the shape fill i will select no fill for the shape outline i will simply select no outline color now from the drop down i need to select max 2 series now i will move this series on secondary x axis as well click on plus button apply the data label more data label options click label options value from cell in this case i will specify data label negative value and simply hit ok uncheck the value and show leader line for the font color in this case i will choose a red font color hit ctrl b to make it bold as well now again i will select max 2 series for the shape fill i will select no fill for the shape outline i will select no outline now the only thing wrong with this chart for the negative data label i think i choose the green font color i will click on the negative data label we need to choose this as a red make it bold and increase the size click on the positive data label and i need to choose the green font color make it bold increase the font size and now our chart is perfect now if i clear this category filter chart is automatically updated if i select any other category each and everything is dynamically working even if i change the year everything is working perfect now on the final step i will give you this sheet each and everything is totally same this is the data this is our pivot table i show you how to create this is the format one this is format two if you want to display the value as well as the percentage you just need to play with this formula so we just need to write this amazing new formula each and everything is totally same we just need to update this formula whatever type data label you like and we have a format three which display each and everything the current income previous income the difference and also the data label so this is the entire formula just read this formula play with them you can create your own data label each and everything is totally dynamic again i hope you enjoyed this video and i will share this video with you along with this file please like and subscribe this channel for more video thank you so much